Jared Goff. Guys, let's revisit before the season, before the 1-6, and six, before the 4-7. and seven. Okay? I sat up here and I told you, Jared Goff is a good bridge quarterback for you. And that you would be able to draft your quarterback in 23, sit him for 23, and then he would be the future moving forward after that. Like Alex Smith did. The problem I have this morning is more often than not in these one possession games, Jared Goff is coming up short. And you can't win a division if you can't win one possession games. You can't contend for a wild card spot if you can't win one possession games. If you can't make the throws. He makes that throw yesterday. You're five and six, talking about being six and six, and you are the favorite to get the number seven seed. Because Seattle's gonna probably drop off. And you're looking at nine and seven likely being that final or excuse me, nine and eight likely being that final playoff spot. And you have a chance. And who knows what could happen from here. You at least have a chance. That conversation's over with. Adam. It's done with. And now that I've seen golf enough this year, as much as I want to say, keep him around next year, contend for the playoffs, try to win the division, I think a rookie quarterback can play just as well as Jared Goff. Can I ask you a question? Go for it. Do you think a rookie quarterback, and I'm not defending Goff, because the question I think Brad has to you know ask, or at least answer, is do you believe a rookie quarterback making significantly less money, yes. which allows you to you know add 20, more talent, twenty million dollars? Yes, savings. it's a lot. Would give you similar production. And what I would ask you is this: Goff right now is seventh in passing yards. He's he's sixth, tied for sixth in passing touchdowns, and he's eleventh in QBR. So the question I would have for you is: if you have that Rams pick, and you don't have an opportunity, you ready for this? Because I'm I'm sorry, I'm gonna I have to throw this back at you. Okay, go. Because yeah, I, I do not accept that at all. Because I, and I'll give I you, would say no, and you, but and, I don't need him to. You know why? Because in well, the last four games, Jared Goff, 3-1, and one, has thrown for 137 yards, 236 yards, 165 yards, and 240 yards. And in all the losses, 277, 378, 321. Mm -hmm. I don't need that. I'm not asking and, my and, rookie. But, my rookie's walking in, Jeff. With a top five O line, yes. Any running back can run behind it. Mm -hmm. Amon Ross, St. Brown, Jamison Williams. It's a great situation. You're gonna have twenty million to spend on a defensive tackle, yes. a linebacker, a corner. I'm not saying day one you're able to go contend for the Super Bowl with a rookie quarterback. No, but I'm sorry. I watched Dak Prescott walk into a very good situation, a very good offensive line, a very good run offense, and they won 13 games.